my name's Cameron, I'm at the Evansville-Knoxville game, and you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. I have been waiting so long to make this video. Today is a good day. Today is a great day. As you can see, I have this box here next to me. Uh, you guys know that there's a jersey on the way. I've kind of low-key mentioned it in a few videos. If you've been listening closely, you'll know what specific jersey it is. Uh, I'm not going to tell you until I open it for those who don't know, so it can be a little bit of a surprise. And there's something else in this box as well. Um, it's a hat for a team that I do already have. Where did I put that hat? Darn, I have no idea where I put that hat, but um, it's a new Washington hat. And I, it's, I saw the hat, and it's like, man, this is a beautiful hat. I've got to get it along with this jersey. So I did, and I'm very curious to see if it, if it fits my head well, because I've got a weird-shaped head, and I can only wear certain hats. So it's, it's a test. It's a hat a style that I, I've never had before, Adidas. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this. I got this from Fanatics. It is a jersey with a player on the back. All right. So I'll, I'll show you the hat first. So here's the hat. It's uh, like I said, Washington Capitals. It's a, it's kind of a risky style hat for me because it's got one of the pointy things here in the middle, and the way my, my head is like really flat here and back. So uh, usually these these style of hats. Uh, don't fit that well so uh, I'm gonna try this on later see how it fits I can already tell by the look of it that it's not gonna look right on my head but uh, it was worth the experiment anyway and uh, this anyways this will be my new Washington hat because I, I do have one but it's really old and it looks pretty pretty uh, weathered I guess you could say so I've been looking for a new Washington hat so um, boom Washington fans there you go set that aside now it's time for the jersey now this is a team that I do not have. This is a team that up until recently I had no merchandise for whatsoever and someone sent in a hat. And now I have a jersey. The Nashville Predators. Finally. So <clears throat> now the only team that I don't have is the Islanders because I did have an Islanders jersey but I gave that away in a giveaway before Christmas. And I'm soon going to be giving away my uh, Winnipeg Jets jersey. So I went from having 29 teams now to 30 but soon back down to 2019 so i'll have to get some more jerseys here soon so i got this from fanatics and it wasn't cheap i spent uh i think it was i mean it was a good deal for for a, a name on the back but it was still still expensive it was still over 200 dollars, which is crazy i've never spent any, that amount for any jersey before and it is Adidas because you can't even get the Reebok ones anymore. I just want to make sure they sent me the right size. Yeah, they did. All right. There we have it. First Nashville jersey. Heck yeah. As you can see at the C there, you know who's on the back. Roman Yossi. I could have got a Subban jersey. Probably should have, but for the same price, to get a jersey with the C on it, I like Yossi too. Easy choice for me. So, very happy with this. Love it. Beautiful jersey. The way that the Adidas sizes works is, uh, this is technically a small, and uh, I like my jerseys to fit a little more snug than most people. I think most people like their jerseys a little bit baggy feeling. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all about personal preference. But the logo on the small, or size 46 Adidas, which this is, um, is smaller if you get the size up from that or maybe you have to go to 50 um, The logo is much bigger. It's but I actually prefer the smaller logo. It's easier to wear if you bend over You're not taking your neck out with the with the logo sometimes the, depending on the logo it doesn't bend very easy, but This is the fourth Adidas jersey. I have I have Montreal Canadiens jersey have a New York Rangers jersey Vegas Golden Knights jersey and now Nashville Predators jersey. So finally uh, you guys can uh, uh, see the Nashville jersey You've been asking forever for me to get one. Cool uh, secondary logo there. Now, another reason why I bought this right away is because 
Someone actually did send in a Nashville jersey, but unfortunately it was fake, and um, I, I just can't have any fake jerseys in my collection. I already spoke with the person. Uh, they didn't know. They feel they feel bad, um, and uh, it, it wasn't intentional or to try and fool me or anything like that. Uh, I just can't have fake jerseys in my collection. I'm going to do a video, a comparison video, between a real Adidas jersey and a fake Adidas jersey. Here's the here's the fake one. And there's, there's a lot of differences between the two. I'm not going to go through them now, but I will in a video coming soon. And uh, there's, more, there's more differences than you would have think. They did a good job in certain areas, but other areas they didn't. But uh, yeah, very happy to have, have this. And uh, they said that if, if, if I wanted to, I could give that, give that away. I'm not sure if anyone would be interested in getting a fake jersey as a giveaway. Um, but it's there, and they said I could give it away or something like that. So uh, we'll work something out in the future and uh, make a decision then. But anyways, very happy to have this and this. So thanks guys for watching. And uh, I actually, I had another big order of stuff to get a bunch of hats from teams that I didn't have hats from. And uh, I was gonna get it shipped to the States to dad's PO box in, in Holton, Maine. Um, but, cause he's going there next month, but it was, it was so much stuff that he couldn't bring it back uh, because when you cross the border, you're allowed to bring back so much money. You're allowed to spend so much money or bring back so much uh, merchant or not merchandise, but stuff. There's basically an $800 limit of stuff you can bring back. And the stuff that I ordered was eating into the limit that he would have uh, spent money on other stuff because he's going there for a specific radio reason or whatever. I don't even know, but uh, it would cut into the amount of stuff that he could bring back. So uh, I had to cancel the order. Um, but I'm going to try and get some, some, some stuff soon. I don't have a Chicago hat. I don't have an Edmonton hat. I don't have a Winnipeg hat. Um, I don't have a Philadelphia hat. So there's, there's lots of teams that I still don't have merchant or hats for. And I still need an Islanders jersey and a Winnipeg jersey. So I'll be on the lookout to, to get some of that stuff soon and make sure that I have a jersey and a hat for every single team. That's, that's kind of the goal. And yeah, so thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you did like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And recently, a lot of people have been requesting for me to do a jersey update video or a merchandise collection update video. I'll do that soon too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.